hi guys welcome welcome back so today i have some pr from a bt art box they were kind enough to send me some goodies so they sent me a little note and this is hey blue rose nails thank you hope you enjoy our products as much as we've enjoyed preparing them for you i will be honored if you tag us in or tag us sorry in my work so there you are Make sure you get all the socials. Go check them out. And guys, they sell way more than just what I'm going to show you. We'll go over everything a little bit. But they did just send me some beautiful press-ons. And I have to admit, I don't know. I'm the type of girl that I like to have a press-on or two just in case. Like, I am so that girl that wants to have at least one or two, maybe a few, even me having all my nail art stuff. Because when you're in a pinch and you just want those quick 10-15 minute nails and you look like, you know what I mean, you've been putting hours in work, that's where press-ons come in handy. So they sent me a few. These are gorgeous. I love them. Sorry, I'm all up in your business. So they are black and then they do have like some texture to them. I kind of want to say like, what is that like the, the, as a print, I think it's like more of a crocodile animal. I don't know people, there's so many different animals I guess that could be, but, um, or maybe a snake, but they have that nice little raised print to it. We'll take a little bit better of a look. Now I picked these ones out. I know you guys are probably going to be like, girl, we're not even close to Halloween, but I love them. I love like the little drips. I'm going to call them like they look like blood drips. <laughs> That's just my thought. But would these not be so sick for Halloween time, or at least around that time? You could even jazz them up with some extra decals, get like that. What's that, like, clown? Is it It? Is that his name? The It clown face guy? Like, some of those type of, like, creepy stickers, put an eyeball, and it look like it's dripping blood. Oh, there's so much I have in store for these nails. I'm so excited for these ones. <laughs> like, as much as I love the other ones, they're so beautiful. I have so many cool ideas that will come for these. We will take a closer look. And then these ones are just gorgeous. So they're multicolored French. Absolutely stunning. I love the length. The length is very petite, I'm going to say. I think it's very good for just your everyday. I like, I do prefer longer nails, but like I said, these are gorgeous. We'll dress up your own nails any single time, any day of the week. So all of these are, let's just open up these ones because they're in my hand first. Oh, they do have all the steps on the back as well. So it tells you exactly what you need to do. And we'll go over that a little bit more when I'm going to put one on my left hand today. Because guys, no joke, I did some damage. Your girl really like her, her nails. Trying some peel off base and she was not peel off, I tell you that much. So I should have soaked off once I realized the first one like ripped the bejesus out of my nail. But yeah. That's a whole other video for a whole other story, but I want these to heal and the best way to get damaged nails to heal, I know, I know, leave them alone, but that's just not an option for me. Leaving my nails plain basic is not an option. So another good way to keep your nails healthy and protected, especially if you're going through like a healing process or you just want to keep your natural nail healthy and protected is press-ons. They do not, if you do it correctly, they do not damage your nail. You can soak them off very easily or you can use the tabs so they come off very easily as well and they just kind of pop off. So this couldn't have come at a better time for me. Oh my god, they're so cute. I love them. Okay, so we do have a wood stick and a file. And it does come with all you need. So we have our glue, we have our extra tips here. And these tips, you have 15 different sizes. So like that'll fit anybody. I think your standard, I think is what, 12? Most, most, most brands usually put in there. So I feel like I have pretty wide. Look at that, that fits me perfect. Oh my God, it's so cute. Like, it's just gorgeous. I love it. So these are made from gel, which we know is a little bit more of a flexible and it's just a bit better quality than some acrylics. Now with these, they are 
made a little bit thinner here at the cuticle area and then they do get a little bit thicker at the tips because we want a good thicker tip, not too thick, but like sturdy. And then we want a flexible cuticle area so it's thin and when it fits, it looks seamless and it doesn't look like a press on, right? We all want custom nails, sometimes without all the hassle. So that is always a good look. They're super cute. They're very tiny, like they are, but I'm not gonna lie, like I have, like that, that one, what number is that? No, oh, that is a zero. So the zero fits my thumb perfectly. All my sides, perfectly good to go. Those are super cute. Like, I love them. And you can just mix match. Like, you can just do any, like, random colors that you want. That is so cool. And then, so it does come with one prep pad. You have your instructions, which we will go over when we put some on. We have your sticky tabs. These are great if you're just wanting for maybe like a week or so. Then these are great, and these you can just kind of pop off your hand, or your nail, sorry. And then with the glue, if you're looking for something to last a little bit longer, a little bit more durability for sure, then you can use the glue. Most times you'll get up to two weeks out of them, and then you just soak them off in warm water. A little cuticle oil will help remove them as well, get in there and just kind of slowly let them allow to lift off a little bit. So, gorgeous. I'm like being so careful with them. They're like babies. Okay, a little too much. I just think they're so pretty. I have an appreciation. This is somebody's hard work. These are painted on. So, I'm sorry guys, you know blue's out. Nothing we can do about him. And I do love the packaging, it's super cute. Now this company also sells gel polishes. They have, I have kits with little lamps in them. Not little, but like lamps. Um, they have quite a bit. I would definitely recommend checking out their site and make sure you go and follow them on all their socials, of course. I, I like the packaging. It's cute. It's nice. Okay. We're going to put these ones on because, you know, why not? But let's just take another second for these. I want to open up this and just see what size would fit me in this one. Oh, I have so many ideas. And again, you can jazz these up if you want to add a little bit of rhinestones, anything like that. You would be perfectly fine. I would recommend just do not put a hard gel top coat on it. You want to put a flexible top coat on it. If you're going to do that, like adding little rhinestones or anything, and you should be perfectly good to go. Around the glue, I mean. Doesn't that look so cool though? Or just use a non-tack um, non glue to do your rhinestones. That would probably be best, in all truth. So this is a three. Okay, so three's a little big for my middle finger, but we can get an idea. Oh, that's a cute length. Uh, that's scary just to see it lift off. <laughs> it's too big though for that finger. I would have to size down for sure, but you can kind of see the length of it. Don't mind my nails. My nails are just, ugh, guys, they're bad. But give us a few minutes and they're not going to look bad. They're going to look like nothing ever happened and they'll be fine underneath. They will give themselves time to heal and that's all I really have to do. Sometimes when you're testing products, even me, like on the more professional side of things, you get impatient and you do stuff you're not supposed to do. I'm not the only one that's ever ripped off nails, but I do not recommend it. it you can get way worse damage than I got. And unfortunately, the, pe the peel base, she was not peel base. Okay, so we're going to actually use this one now. So let's do it proper. Get my little stand here. So step one. So it says easy, six easy steps. Step one, we are going to file our nail, clean our nail. Oh, we have to size up. Um, okay, we're not there yet. They just press hold 60 seconds. Okay. Useful tips. It says pro tips. Uh, use nail shields or guards for added layer of protection. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what a nail shield is, it's almost like a, I'm going to kind of say like a piece of tape almost, and it will go over your natural nail. I'm unfortunately I don't have any here. I'll have to get some in to show you guys a bit better, but 
that just goes over your natural nail and that will make your nail a little bit thicker so it will give it some strength and a little bit of structure to be able to put uh, a nail on top of your nail whether it be a press on or gel polish or anything like that and then it will easily come off as a peel basically right because it's like a tape but it just gives you more structure if you have a very flat weak nail um oh and if you want to take your nails off quickly so exactly it kind of, it literally is like a tape where you can peel it off type of thing so uh if you haven't tried any press on nails before please start with sticky tabs yeah so the sticky tabs is actually what i'm going to use today i'm going to go ahead i want these to be able to come off very easily for me i do create content so i always have my nails in a shuffle and a go so but i want to well, I want to get a good week out of them. Let's see how long they last for me. I'm pretty rough on my nails, so. And then through the nails can stay up to two weeks with proper care. Um, this is not recommended to wear press-ons over a week. But a couple weeks you should be fine. Two weeks with the glue you should be fine as long as you do it correctly. And there is no lifting. As soon as you start to get lifting, you're going to want to remove the nails because you can get a fungus that will happen, start to happen underneath your nail. And that is just because water is gonna get under there because you have lifting. Now, this, it does say that these nails are waterproof. So if you, as long as you seal them correctly with the glue and you get no pockets of air and you have no lifting, you should be perfectly fine like that until you're ready to take them off, which they say about two weeks. So, enough of that. So I'm going to do that a little backwards. It did tell me to prep my nail and all that first. I'm going to get my sizes ready. Because. And see what design. Because I think we can kind of create different designs. Or is that just kind of what it wants me to do? That might be what it gives you. So again. A zero. Is this like in the way? I feel like I'm going to need that though for my hands. Ooh. But an 11 will fit me good. I'm going to go this way with the design. I like that. Again, I could. Maybe not with that one. Yep, I could go that way and then do all French. And then only have the two pinky and the thumb to be the full black but i like that they give you multiple sizes because we're all different right so you can play with the designs as well which i like and like i said this kit comes with everything that we need so if you're not like myself and don't have a, a few nail things laying around um you're good you don't need anything anything else than this and these are super, super affordable, guys. These are $15.99. When I looked on the site and I was like, okay, and you get everything that you need. Some nail places, like some, I don't want to say nail places, but some, like some press-ons don't come with glue. Some, I think they all come with tabs, but then again, who knows, right? I don't know. So that's your glue. I feel like my table is slipping a little bit. Okay, so super strong nail glue. It does say that. Okay, so that is just all your instruction, guys. It tells you how to prep. Okay, so let's get our cuticle pusher. And did it tell us to even do that? It says file your nail. So you have a cuticle pusher. You might as well go push back your cuticle. So that way when it wants to move back up, and uh, it's going to lay nicely over top of that. Our future nail bed that we're having. So just slightly push. Okay, get our nail file. Slightly buff up. I like to use the roundness of the nail file and that will also push back your cuticle and your sidewalls. So you're kind of removing any dead cuticle there as well. 
We have an alcohol pad, which is so like great that that comes with one because again, you can do your nails. Everything you need is in this kit. So you thoroughly get in there, get all that dust off. And what this is going to do also is dehydrate your nail. So it's going to take any oils off of your nail. So the glue or the adhesive tabs will have a better chance of sticking and last longer. We produce oils on our nail beds. Where'd my tabs go? Here we go. Okay, so we are number zero. They are numbered. Okay, so we're just gonna take off that top layer. Try to be sure not to take off the nail sticky tab like I just did there. Okay, I'm gonna use tweezers, but they do have these little little tabs, so you don't have to. Okay. Oh, maybe. Uh. Okay. Now I'm going to take my cuticle pusher as we still have that tab on it so it's not sticky yet. And we're going to push it in as good as we can. I think we're just going to go do all tabs first. Should we just do all the tabs first? Or probably not. Let's get the nail on it. Okay, so it's good. Go all the way across. Give it a good push because you want that to stick. Okay, get all the sides. Give it a little cuticle area, smoothing it out. And then we're going to take off that little plastic piece. And we have our number zero. And, okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this one, but I also want to keep in mind, I'm going to show you the same way you would do it with glue. So, not to get air bubbles. So, go right back to your cuticle. So, you, you're right back. You're not touching it, but you're, you're right on there. And then you're up. I don't know if it's hard to see. So, you're kind of up. And then you want to push down. Because you, like, I don't know if I'm saying or doing that correctly. But you just, you want to basically fold it in. So when you have your nail, what you're doing is you have it put it right to your cuticle, like a smidge. I mean a smidge, but like don't be touching your skin, but like right there. And then you want to just lay it completely down. You don't want to move it. You don't want to push it down. You want to skin, lay it down. When you do that, you're going to prevent any air pockets. And by preventing air pockets, you're going to have a better seal. So you really want to make sure you got it lined up first, right up here, and then you, you lay it down. That is the key to getting no air pockets, long lasting. That will prevent, like as a woman, I find with longer hair, well not longer, my hair is pretty short, but anyways, with washing my hair, your hair gets stuck in it and stuff, that will prevent all that because you're sealing it, there will be no air pockets, and it pushes all the air out. That's kind of what we're doing there. There. Super, super cute. OMG. I love that. Okay, on to the next. Okay, let's get all of our things on and then just look at your numbers. So this is a number seven. Yep, so we're going to get tab seven. What's going on here? No wonder. Oh, well, you're tripping me out. I'm like, did I not take that off? Again. Get your wood stick. Kind of line it up a little. Now this part is crucial too. You don't want to be taking that off because it will move. And then as soon as it starts to bend into each other, it's no good. So really get it where you want it. And go around. Again, and we're going to work that bad boy in. Is that stabbing myself with the other end of it? 
it's really crucial it's really crucial to get that cuticle area nice and flat we want this tab to be as flat again we don't want air pockets in it right so we want this to be as flat as we can so to take it take it two seconds now this okay nail is a little broken we know that right so that's sad for us now what you can do so you don't have that extra on it what i'm going to do because that might interfere it might not i don't know but i think it would and as soon as that wrinkles up we're going to run into problems so i'm just going to take my clippers and again i'm clipping it we're not pulling no different than if it, this was a piece of a nail we're just going to clean that up i'm so sorry it's hard to tell so I just cleaned that up because I, I it's damaged, guys. I know. Sorry. I was not a very good girl. So I'm going to take my tip like this because I have nails on my other hand and it's just easier this way. So take it like this. You want to make sure that it's straight. You don't want to make sure it's crooked. So make sure it's straight. Okay. We're going... That would be about even. And then... Down. Now these, you want to give it a good smudge, give it a good press, get her in there. And that's it, like that's on there. Make sure that you don't have any tabs hanging out and that's why we trimmed it I and mean, I think that's the important part if you realize you do size up or again I'm doing this to help my natural nails heal themselves it's a great way to do that but still got your nails looking cute because we ain't walking around like that ain't happening mm -mm. no ma'am so I want to make sure that they last now by trimming off that excess that's going to ensure that water or anything if, if I left that there it's going to stick out here now water is going to get in that now, because water is going to touch into that adhesive tab, adhesive tab, I, guys, I cannot speak today, that will absorb back into my nail because it's out. Now, here, we are completely clean. There's nothing out. There's no area for water to get in there and absorb it. So it's sealed. But if we left that tab out, that's going to, the tab will soak into it, right? Just facts. So you want to make sure that you get a tab that fits your finger. Now, what did I say? Did I say five? I said five. And usually the tabs will fit what we already did because we tested that on it. But in my case there, that finger just wasn't long enough. Or the nail was too short, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And we're just going to repeat. So again, do you see how we have extra, extra tab? I'm going to nip that off because we don't want that and be careful and as soon as you touch it it just like shrinks back into itself so a nip try not to pull it we don't want to interfere with that rest of that tab we want the thickness of that tab you pull it it's going to make it thin okay so we're all cleaned up again got our finger Get it in place, look at both sides, we're even both sides, and then all the way down. And give her a good, good push. Don't hurt your nail, but you want to put a little force in there. We want these to last. And I love how thin they are around the cuticle area, actually. It looks really nice. These are going to be harder to tell because these are raised, raised edges, so it's going to look thicker automatically. But these cream ones are a lot thinner. I can feel that. It just like is smooth. It doesn't, it's not lift. Like it, you know how you have that lift sometimes with press-ons or just like that little bubble that makes it look like it's either really thick product or it's a press-on, right? So this actually, you don't get that. I like it. Okay, let's keep it pushing, keep it pushing. What are we here? We are a five again there. So we need, 
you know what I did find that a little but see this nail I know is a little smaller so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here now some of my nails are the same size and I do find that with these two they are pretty similar Okay, so that's a good example. If they're similar and this tab only comes to the certain allotted numbers, what do I do? Because I need that for this, my other hand, right? Good question. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take a number three. I'm going to go bigger if I can. Okay, and I'm going to show you why. Ah. why I think that might oh okay maybe like the second last one wants to be troublesome okay well thank you for being difficult because that's real life not everything goes that easy so Okay, let's get our stick. Now go around your edges and get that right in there. You want to make sure this actually looks like it might fit me pretty good. I did find this one it was a little bit smaller. But we're going to have some trimming, I'll tell you that much. You're, like I said, you really want to work that in there to make sure there's no air pockets. Because this is the time, because now that we have this tab on it, it's not sticky. As soon as we take that tab off, there's not much more we can do besides trim it. Because if you touch the tab, it's going to stick to you and it'll start moving. And it's you've just got to take it off at that point, guys. Trust me, you don't want a tab that's rolled in over itself. It is no longer good then because it's going to be thick and it just, it won't, you won't get your best stick. Right, we want our best stick. And again, I'm just gonna kinda like move that off there a little. Okay. Okay, there we go, we're fine. Okay, so we're gonna have to let allow that to stick itself back down. And here we have a slight trim. So right here, if you'll notice. You see that little bit of raised edge? We're going to trim it. So pull your finger back. I'm going to try to do this my best in camera view. Okay, get underneath it. Now we're underneath it, pinch. Remember, don't pull. You want to cut it like that. Don't do that. So we kind of cut that piece off now. And we're good. Now take the sticky stuff we're gonna go in here and we're gonna do the same thing kind of come underneath it ow I actually pinched my hand now again come underneath and if you clean your tool you'll be a lot more successful don't cut your nail we're not trying to cut our nail anything like that we just want to get that adhesive tab to fit our nail perfectly that is the key to a successful, um, I don't know, stick, adherence, look at you, you want to come for the ride? Again, we have it, our nail straight, get it, now we want to push, perfect, down. Now if you put your nail on crooked with these tabs, is there a way to fix it without having to do a new tab? I think that could be a question out there. Let's just get that out the way. Probably not. No, you're going to have to take it off and do a new tab. <laughs> I think that would be your, your best bet. Even if you say you ran out of tabs and you had to do like two smaller tabs or something, or again, you could cut a tab. Let's do our pinky first before. And I'll show you how we could maybe cut a tab to get it to be two. So we have 11. Let's pick 11 up. 11 looks pretty big. The tab. So I automatically can tell that 11's too big. 
tab wise for me I think 13 might be a better tab And I think I'm right. I know the nail is that and it might be like, well, how does the nail fit you? And the tab is a little too wide. I don't know. That's just how that one fit me, I guess. I don't have answers to every question. Okay, so I'm just smoothing that out. Again, I want to loosen up that little one there. And we're going to pull. Again, we have some loose tab because unfortunately I really did a number on this little finger. So I want to lift it a little. Okay, that's not going to work. So this is a tricky one. I split this fingernail up a little farther. Again, very carefully, not cutting your skin. Go in and just nick off the extra tab. Last but not least. Oh. Okay, let's not mess up the last one. Do the first one the same patience as you did the last one, or do the last one, and push and squeeze. Now, I usually would go in directly after with cuticle oil, because that's just the way I am. I would probably wait an hour. Honestly, it's kind of like swimming. I think you'd be perfectly fine, but if you just want to double make sure, make sure everything is good, give it an hour. Let those really get that, you know, adhere to each other. Like, they're good. You can go do what you need to do. Wash your hands, anything like that. But oils are always a little trickier. So just to make sure, I would. I would recommend it. They don't say to. Like, they probably would be like, yeah, you're good to go right over it. But just for, like, the ultimate hold, yeah, give it an hour. What's an hour? If you can, right? Like, I don't think it's a need to cuticle oil right after, even if you have an outing. An hour, you should be good with an hour. Half hour, at least. So, I want to put all this back. So, I'm just going to dump them in the bag. That's what I would do. If I'm done with that, like, I have this set on. So, but... I definitely could probably get another like full full two halves out of this so I want to keep all this together in its little package because the packaging is so cute so why not I will have to have a little alcohol but I have that on hand I think most of us have alcohol in our bathrooms anyways so put that on a cotton ball and you are good to go um, excuse me I want this back in there that's what makes it extra cute. Yeah. That is how that looks on. I just want to come in and say as I'm editing this video, I had these nails on for like four days, did groceries, did everything. They did not budge. I actually just took them off. Again, I filmed so I needed to do a new design. They absolutely lasted and they were amazing guys. Honestly, I cannot say enough good things about these press-ons. They really, really did last. I love them. So guys, make sure you go check them out. It's BT Art Box. They're at Instagram. I think it's all BT Art Box. Doop, doop, doop. I can't talk today, guys. I don't understand what is going on with me. BT Art Box on all socials. So we have YouTube, TikTok, Insta. And you can go check out their website. So they have gel polishes. Like I said, they have kits even. Like, they have quite a bit of stuff. I, it's worth taking a look at. I really, like I said, I haven't tried a lot of their stuff. But the press-ons are very, very affordable. Like I said, these were only $15.99. And, like I said, these are gel press-ons. So the quality is there. I feel it. They feel nice. I'm not going to lie. Like... Like, that's me pressing down. You see me pressing on my hands. Like, they're not going anywhere. I'm not going to, like, completely scratch myself, but I'm definitely putting pressure, and we just did them. I didn't even give my own allotted hour, like I said, to give them a good um, stickiness, adherence. Can't think of my words. <laughs> so, yes, this is actually, I like I said, I love to have a good set ready to go. This took me longer because I've been chit-chatting with you guys, you know what I mean? But I could have got these on my hands 
10-15 minutes max and you're good to go so out the door on your way so thank you so much to BTR Box. I appreciate you guys sending me these beautiful nails, all three of them. You will see these definitely in an upcoming video for Halloween. We'll definitely rock them, do something. And then come on, anytime, anytime, you're good to go. If you want to add a little one-two crystal, again, you could add crystals to these. Some black rhinestones would look phenomenal on them. Might just have to do that a little later. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. But yeah, so thank you guys so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys ever need some press-ons, so that way if you're in a pinch, or if you just rather do press-ons, they're easy. You can change them up often. You know what I mean? They do not do damage to your nail as long as you follow the steps and do things correctly. They will not damage your natural nail. You'll be perfectly fine. And you can get so creative. You can keep them and reuse them. If you use the sticky tabs, you can reuse them. So you can buy a whole whack and use them multiple as long as they're the same shape size not even people do different shapes all the time now too so imagine the possibilities that is so cool so thank you so much to them i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye